Introducing BrainBridge, the world's first revolutionary concept for a head transplant machine, which uses state-of-the-art robotics and artificial intelligence to conduct complete head and face transplantation procedures, ensuring smooth outcomes and faster recoveries. What? Because head transplants require high speed, precision, and efficiency, BrainBridge utilizes advanced high speed... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> what? What have I missed? What is this? Can I buy a head now? Honey, where are you going? I'm going shopping for a new head. <laughs> uh, see you back by dinner. <laughs> oh, make it a good one. I'm tired of this one. High precision robotic systems to speed up the process, eliminate human error, prevent brain cell degradation and ensure seamless compatibility. The head transplant procedure involves removing a person's entire head containing the brain from their current diseased body and attaching it to the body of a healthy, young, brain-dead donor. Head transplant... What? 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 The head transplant... Okay. ...involves removing a person's entire head containing the brain from their current diseased body and attaching it to the body of a healthy, young, brain-dead donor. From a healthy, young, brain-dead donor. How am I going to interpret that? <laughs> a healthy, young, but brain-dead. How did it become brain-dead? Did you make it brain-dead? Or is it not brain-dead? Are you you gonna say it is brain dead? I don't like where this might be going. You know, people will be just capturing people and you know, kidnapping them, severing their head and bringing a fucking Rothschild onto your body. Like the fuck? Did we? Did we die? Did we die? And just entered a weird fucking weird ass dream. What is this place? What? Since when did all of this become possible? What? What? What's going on, man? Body of a healthy, young, brain dead donor. What is this? Head transplants could provide individuals with severe medical conditions such as terminal cancer, paralysis, spinal cord injuries, or neurodegenerative diseases the opportunity to have a fully functional body while preserving their consciousness, memories, and cognitive abilities. The neurons are the longest lasting functional cells in the human body. And according to our estimates, the brain is capable of lasting several hundred years, provided that the rest of the body remains young. The brain bridge concept involves the use of the integrated robotics platform comprised of the two autonomous surgical robots designed to perform simultaneous surgeries on two bodies side by side within a single setup. The complete robotization of the process allows for the surgery to be performed in an environment with varying temperature and pressure. The procedure begins by preparing the donor and recipient bodies. The donor is a brain-dead patient who has a functional body with vital organs in good condition, while the recipient is the patient whose head will be transplanted onto the new body. General anesthesia is administered to both the recipient and the, uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> the donor. Both patients undergo tracheotomy, with a tube inserted into the trachea to provide respiratory support and facilitate mechanical ventilation. Our proprietary artificial plasma solution is administered to both the recipient and the donor. This solution is designed to keep the brain and body oxygenated, prevent clotting, and allow for safe operation at low temperatures. Do you hear the, the switch to happy music now? So you, this is to make you like, all right, this is great, you know? Now, always pay attention when you watch these videos or whatever. Pay attention to the music, okay? It it, it 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 does a lot okay in order to sway you in a way because now they want it, they want you to think this is this is something nice now you know 
the recipient's head and the donor body are cooled to approximately five degrees Celsius. Yeah, find me up. Damage during the detachment. Sounds good. Guided man. by advanced real-time molecular level imaging systems, BrainBridge carefully separates the heads from the two bodies with the help of a specialized surgical technique that preserves the spinal cord and key blood vessels. Deep incisions are carefully made around the neck to expose the necessary structure. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds and good. And vertebral man. arteries, sounds jugular good. veins, and spine. With the help of specialized AI algorithms, BrainBridge tracks both muscles and nerves during surgery to facilitate seamless reattachment. Next, incisions are made in the trachea, esophagus, veins, and arteries. The blood is then completely drained from the recipient's head to prevent clotting. Hold on, hold on. The recipient's head is then positioned adjacent to... I just have to ask this question. How do you come up with all of this? You know what I mean? You probably have to be some crazy, you know, crazy fucking butcher scientists in some some uh, fucking dungeon somewhere doing some weird ass experiments to come up with this, right? You have to you have to do do it, try it out, you know. You know what I mean? Nobody just handed you this information. It has to have come from somewhere. So some sick motherfucker has been doing this for a while to God knows how many people. From the recipient's head to prevent clotting. The recipient's head is then positioned adjacent to the donated body using a mobile platform. BrainBridge immediately connects the detached head to the circulatory system of the donor body, which helps maintain blood flow during the rest of the procedure. It also rewarms the recipient's head and provides it with oxygenated blood. With the help of its ultra precision surgical instruments, BrainBridge begins reconnecting the spinal cord, esophagus, trachea, nerves, blood vessels, and other. So that means your head can attach itself to another body even if it's not your original body he just said that your spinal cord will attach it to the other body's spinal cord their tissues this step facilitates communication between the brain and the new body the machine utilizes microsurgery techniques and delicate but hey listen listen what what this all means is we are robots too this is uh, this is how a robot would function you know, take a head from this robot, put it on that body robot, and then, you know, make it so the wires, you know, attach to themselves and good. Put a little bit of tape there. <laughs> the only difference is our biological body somehow does the process itself. So in that sense, maybe we are more advanced than the... the steel robots microscopic but we are robots too we're just a different type of robots again dualistic we got the flesh robot and the metal robots dualistic and now the metal robots are, are coming alive i got another video i don't know if you guys have seen it it's two ais talking to each other adjustments to ensure the proper alignment and fusion of the spinal cord and other tissues. To help reconnect the severed neurons, BrainBridge uses a proprietary chemical adhesive, polyethylene glycol, which is applied locally to the spine at the point of fusion. Once the spinal cord is connected, a specialized implant is placed in the epidural space behind... Hold on, what, 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 what is that now? Is that a microchip? What's going on here? Connected, a specialized implant is placed in the epidural space behind the spine over the point of fusion. This implant promotes the repair of damaged neurons and allows the patient's brain to form neural connections with the new body and ensures that the sensory system is restored. It also What kind of a chip is that that, you know, unites the body with the head? Unites the other body with that head? What does that chip know for it to be able to do that? Functions as a temporary backup control device for the donor body. 
The next step of the operation is a face and scalp transplant. What's All the on? muscles, soft tissues, and skin are removed from the recipient's face. The donor's face, muscles, and soft tissues are then precisely transplanted. What the fuck is this now? Yeah, you know, you can just click off your face. <laughs> in their place. By transplanting younger donor tissues, the procedure reduces the probability of tissue rejection and offers potential for aesthetic enhancement, particularly in cases where the donor is significantly younger than the recipient. It also restores functionality. Hey, listen, at this point, if you can do all of this, why not just come out and say that you can reverse aging as well? Because if you can do all of this, you damn sure can reverse aging as well, right? If you can do all of this shit. ...and structural integrity to the recipient's face and rejuvenates its appearance. Brainbridge then carefully sutures the skin to conceal the complex rewiring beneath the surface. The skin is then treated with a special spray that contains growth factors, antifibrotics, and antibiotics. This spray promotes faster skin healing, prevents infections, and reduces scarring in the sutured area. Finally, immunosuppressive drugs are administered to prevent the recipient's immune system from rejecting the donor body. After the surgery, the recipient is carefully monitored in an intensive care unit and is kept in a coma for up to four weeks oh, to nice. prevent movement or misalignment of the connected body parts. This During is this literally time, like, a, a, what is it, Demolition Man, where Sylvester Stallone wakes up from the ice. Uh, he was frozen for 40-something years. This is, you wake up, you're like, where the fuck am I? You're in hell, man. I'm the head, neck, and spine are firmly stabilized to optimize the fusion of the spinal cord. Life support systems are utilized to regulate breathing and circulation, while nutrition is delivered through a jujunostomy feeding tube. Gradually, the recipient's brain should regain control over the new body. Should. <laughs> Did you know that should? <laughs> the recipient's brain should. That doesn't sound too uh, reassuring. As the recovery process advances and the patient regains mobility, there will be a need for extensive rehabilitation, physical therapy, and psychological support to help the recipient adapt to their new body and regain motor functions. BrainBridge Headband, which is equipped with a brain-computer interface, will allow nice. the patient to communicate their needs during recovery. Thanks to the power of thought, the headband decodes brainwaves and turns them into text or speech. It could allow the patient to control other devices directly from their brain, oh. granting them the autonomy to execute. Ah, oh, Neuralink, in other words. Nice. Execute specific tasks <laughs> independently throughout their recovery journey. Because of the complexity and unexpected challenges of the head transplant procedure, self-learning algorithms allow BrainBridge to avoid errors and adapt surgical plans in real time depending on the surgery's needs. It can also improve its capabilities over time by learning from previous surgeries. Learning algorithms can recall past procedures and outcomes to continually refine and enhance surgical techniques and post-operative care. While the surgery is being conducted, the BrainBridge algorithm creates a personalized recovery plan, depending on the progress of the procedure and the needs of the patient. To maximize compatibility and ensure seamless integration, we collaborate with the top experts in generative artificial intelligence, brain to computer interfaces, and robotics with multiple successful projects and hundreds of high profile peer reviewed research papers. Over the past few years, we developed the end to end approach, which accounts for every single detail, including immune compatibility, brain body connectivity. No, thank you. I think I just die, okay? <laughs> uh, it's, I'm good. Just let me get the fuck out of here. This is all getting too whack for me. You know what I mean? Getting placement of the visual and whack olfactory me. systems and post operative rehabilitation. You do you, people. If you want to end up whatever the fuck this is, go ahead, man. This to me is not life anymore. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> I don't even see the purpose of doing all of this. Uh, let, let me take out that chair with my head. Uh, okay, but I'm not going to have any emotions or uh, really have my own thoughts and privacy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as I can take that chair out from that bed, yeah, that's, that's life. 
This is great. Right, my woke left hearts? Fuck the woke hearts. Anyways, this is sick.